Hey everyone, it's Warren here with another episode of Game Swim. Today we are going to float into some useful information for diehard GTA fans. There is usually one question fans will ask themselves, without any real direction for an answer. What is the question you ask? Well, how do I get to play the newest games before they are officially released? Gamers of all different franchises ask this question, and for the most part, it is always some wild desire they have, but really, it is actually a possibility, if they know how. So today, I'm going to talk about three ways that gamers can get a beta version of GTA 6. Number three, popular YouTube entertainer. One way that fans get a beta version of their favorite games is to be a popular YouTube host. Many times, once a channel becomes popular and has enough subscribers, views, and comments, the host of that channel could potentially get a beta version of the game to play before it is officially released. Thousands of YouTube channels offer videos on gameplay, let's play videos, helpful hints on difficult games, and even how-to tutorials. It is a great opportunity for these channels to beta test, because it is essentially free advertising, as well as seeing how the game is received. This option is all by chance. No one knows what channels are going to be a hit and what ones are going to fall flat. Not to mention, it can certainly take some time to build a subscriber base. But GTA 6 hasn't been announced yet, so maybe if you make a channel now and get started by the time we get it, you'll have enough subscribers to get that beta. Number 2. Become a Game Journalist There are so many career options when it comes to video games, because to create and market a game takes a lot of effort. One way to get a beta version of a new game is to be a video game journalist. This one may be a bit more challenging to get into than making a YouTube channel. It does require a degree in journalism or something comparable. Along with formal training, it is critical to have background and knowledge in legal training, defamation, usage rights, and other legal knowledge. This really helps cover your tale if you have knowledge of these in any creative career. But even after you get your education and knowledge of the industry in order, there is still the experience that is needed. Many game journalists have divulged their secrets in plenty of articles and blogs that I've looked through to put this together, and they all say that it is a wise move to volunteer, seek internships, and write for yourself. They also all notate that helpful hint with caution. They do say that volunteering is critical, but to make sure you are not taken advantage of, one thing that people may not think about when getting into game journalism is going to the events. Even if you're new in that specific area, Go to the events, network, get your name in the ears of everyone there. And finally, if you become a game journalist just to play a beta version of games, you're probably going to be pretty miserable. It's recommended that you love not only video games, but also writing. It is an incredible way to get the inside scoop on new games. But to be really good and get more inside info, you should probably also love what you do. Number one, become a game tester. Now this is a teensy bit easier than becoming a game journalist. There is an educational path that people can pursue to have a better chance of becoming a game tester. But plenty of people do not need more than a high school education to get a job as a tester. This is probably the best way to get to play the beta version of the games. I mean, it would be your job to play the beta version of games. Dream job? Maybe. So if you have these few qualities, it might be a great option for you. Methodical and a good problem solver. The whole point of beta play is that you're looking for issues in the game, so you have to explore the entire game. Understand quality assurance. Think of the games you buy. You want to have a great product in your possession. So if you understand quality, play the beta with that in mind. Would I spend money on this quality? Attention to detail. There are small things in games that are hints, tricks, or hidden secrets. You need to be able to find those and make sure they are not only worth the adventure, but that they all work as the creators intended. Finally, understanding the difference between reporting a bug and reporting a feature. Many games have different issues and bugs that are fixed post-production, but finding them sooner in the beta testing is more productive and generally helps the game's ratings. So it is important to know the difference between a bug in the game that is going to misfire and possibly ruin the experience, and reporting a feature of the game that may not be the best option. A feature isn't something that is necessarily wrong with the game. It is more of a personal opinion of the design. Reporting both are fine, but it is generally more important to report bugs in the game rather than, I don't like this map, or that character looks funny. Sure, those opinions can help the game progress, and if your relationship with the creators is strong enough, they may even take your advice. But for the most part, they are more interested in making sure everything works on a technical level. So there you have it, folks. Three ways to get a beta version of GTA 6. It may not be quite what you were expecting, but trust me, I look for the easiest ways to get a beta, and these three things are the results. 
These options are for people who love video games and want to make careers out of them. The beta version of games would really be the cherry on top for the people who choose to put the time, effort, and passion into these options. So thanks for taking a swim here with me. And if you know of any other legal ways to get a GTA 6 beta, drop it in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Game Swim videos.